Hi guys, welcome to our travel channel. I'm Britt and he's Chris and today we're going to take you through the top 10 things to do in Boston. Number 10, ride the subways. If you're trying to see all of the city, you'll definitely want to ride the subways. They're a very convenient way to get around the city and will only cost you about $13 for a day pass or $22 for a week pass, which will save you a lot compared to renting a car. We love riding the trains every time we come to Boston since there's really no public transportation where we're from. Number 9, Acorn Street and Beacon Hill. This is a famous street that is known for its cobblestone road and its aesthetics houses located by Beacon Hill. Stopping by here will make you feel like you step back in time. Make sure to walk around the neighboring streets since there are other many beautiful houses to see. It's also right beside the commons which makes it very easy to get to. Number 8, Historic Cemeteries. There are many historic cemeteries all over Boston. The one we visited was called Cox Hill Burying Ground. The cemetery was founded in 1659 and has headstones from the early 1800s that are still readable. It is located in the north end by the Old North Church and is a stop along the Freedom Trail. While the burying ground is small, it has more than 10,000 people buried there. This is a great historic stop along the Freedom Trail. Number 7, Harvard. Founded in 1636, Harvard is a world-renowned university with beautiful historic buildings that you can explore. This is only a short subway ride away from downtown Boston if you take the red line. Walking around the grounds of the Ivy League school is something that should take about at least half a day to do. There are tons of beautiful buildings to see and so many restaurants to eat at in Cambridge. Make sure to grab a Harvard shirt from one of the many gift shops and bookstores while there. Number 6, Fan Pier Park. This is the best place to get a view of Boston. There are also parks on the pier to relax after a day of walking. You can sit and watch the boats come in and out of the harbor. After walking the pier, stop at one of the restaurants and grab some food before heading to number 5. Number 5, the Rose Kennedy Greenway. This is a strip of parks built on top of the highway in 2008. The park has multiple blocks with interesting things to see at each one. There are always events going on with tons of interesting markets to walk around if you go at the right time. It's a great place to stop for a break and grab a snack. Public Gardens. This garden was the first botanical garden in the U.S. This park is a peaceful part of downtown Boston where the iconic swan boats are located. Walking through here you will see many varieties of flowers, trees, ponds, 
Additionally, there are sculptures and statues throughout the entire park along with a lot of ducks. It's a great place to bring some breakfast and just sit for a while. Number three, the commons. The commons is right next to the public garden and is like the garden, but has a lot of open space and a hill which offers a great view of Boston. There are some food stands here and tons of open space to grab a blanket and have a picnic. The park also has quite a lot of historic value as it's considered the oldest public park in the US. This park is also a free activity and a great stop, so make sure to add it to your list. Number two, Quincy Market in Faneuil Hall. This is a very touristy area, but it's still one of my favorite things to do while in Boston. It's a market that is both indoors and outdoors and the best place to buy souvenirs. There are tons of places to eat within Quincy Market, making it a great place to try a different variety of New England food. Also, Faneuil Hall has street performers out front if you go at the right time. It's a lively place to visit and do some shopping. This is also a historic stop as Faneuil Hall was built in 1742 and was used as a place for trade and later used as a meeting hall for the citizens. Number one, the North End. There are tons of things to do in the North End, which is the Italian area of Boston. There are amazing places to eat that have windows open to the street with the best Italian food. After, you can go to Mike's Pastries and grab a cannoli, but remember to bring cash since they do not accept any credit cards. Then, when you're finally full from eating, stop by Paul Revere's house and the Old North Church to see some of the iconic history. Take some time to walk around this area and use the Freedom Trail in this area too to find some more interesting stops in the North End. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and give us a like. If you feel like I left anything out, comment what I left out, and thanks for watching.